Greetings, and welcome to the Wonders Hour, where any subject can be explored, any question asked. The Wonders are a collective consciousness from the 29th dimension of reality, channeled through an Egadet. They have chosen to speak at this time to help humankind empower itself. In this hour, you'll be entertained, enlightened, and guided to new realizations about yourself and the world that surrounds you. Now let's meet your hosts, Rene Gadet and his wife Maggie, who together bring you the wonder. Wonders, is there a cure for AIDS? Yes. What is it? Mm, there's a plant mm, in mm, mm, South America, mm, mm, in the mm, Amazon basin, mm, that is actually capable of eliminating the virus, uh, HIV virus, completely. Is it? Mm-hmm. There's another easier cure than that, though. What's that? Mm -hmm. Realize that mm, the syndrome called AIDS mm, is a mind mm, creation. It's a mental concept. It is based on self-abuse, self-judgment, and self-harm. Shift that, and you'll find that the virus that called HIV is actually a virus that uh, can exist in the body without harming the body. Okay. So how did all this come about, Wonders? If it's a mental concept... Uh, how do you think it came about? It began with individuals hating themselves for who they were. And then was a the virus actually created? Mm, the virus was enhanced. And if you have a virus already in the body and you hate yourself, you create an environment where the vi virus can mutate. Is it? Ah, uh, yes. And it did. And has the plant been discovered? Not yet. Okay. Will it be? Yes. Oh, good. Soon? Very. Good. How soon? Soon. <laughs> if we gave you the how soon, then that would interfere with free choice and free will, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. If we told you exactly what it was, where it was, that would also interfere with free choice and free will, wouldn't it? Yes. It's up to you. We're telling you that it exists. Do you want to find it? Yeah. Then humankind must find it. Do you think? Yes, okay. But here's the key. Here's the question. Here's an interesting concept. Humankind will go in through in the ends of the world to find a chemical or plant that will cure AIDS. Of course, once they find the plant, the pharmaceutical companies will take it, and then they'll try to create an artificial chemical based upon it so that they can patent it, they can create more money out of it. And what they're going to do, of course, is they're going to charge you for it, which, of course, means quite simply that you're not going to have the, uh, to save, the money to save yourself, so you're going to die anyways. Yes. Okay. Given all of that, then, we're saying that there's an alternative cure that doesn't depend on pharmaceutical companies, doesn't depend on somebody else going to find a plant, that doesn't depend entirely on the, the, the government or on the finances, and doesn't depend on any of that. What it, the cure is quite simple. Shift your consciousness. Shift your mind. Realize you don't need to harm yourself. And in so doing then, you create an environment in your body that, where you support and nurture the body so the body can adjust itself and therefore eliminate the virus that has mutated itself into your body. And the result is your body can still live with portion of the virus while in the meantime maintaining itself. So really, if you consider that all it takes is the mind's willingness to change, to allow the body to heal itself, to give the body the nurturing that it requires. Now, that doesn't mean that you give it a plant, that you need to give it a particular herb or homeopathic. Those are concepts the mind has within itself. It thinks that this is what the body needs. Ask your body, and we assure you, your body will say to you a very simple thing. It requires a certain type of nourishment, enough water, minimal supplementation, and the rest of it, hmm, it will do on its own. Do you think? Mm-hmm. And that is working with the body and the mind and Yes. Everything. And then at that point, the body is capable of, in effect, dealing with the virus, isn't it? Yes. What's a virus? Yeah, we agree. Some viruses are, are a little more aggressive than the others, but really a virus is nothing more than a mental concept of a disease. You think? Mm -hmm. It's something created by the mind. It doesn't really exist. Your whole existence doesn't isn't real. You're living an existence of illusion anyways. A virus is just part of that illusion. Do you think? Yes. How did this virus start, though, Wonders? I, I know you were saying that um, it was humankind's um, uh, not liking itself. Humanity, True. Humanity not liking itself. But and, and from the perspective of your illusion. Right. And we do define it that way because, yeah. your friend, it is part of your illusion. It was created. It was a laboratory created virus. Okay. I had heard things like that. I wondered if it was true. It's true. Yeah. 
But then the mind took it on? Uh, then it took off from there, yes. And then it got implanted into wild, li uh, wild animals and it moved from there, do you think? Right. So the, the, the thing to realize here is that, again, you can believe all of that or you can realize that your belief structure is what's limiting the, the basic healing of your body. I see. If we believe that um, we've been infected with it and there isn't anything we can do, then um, Then we'll there's die. nothing you can do. Yeah. You will die. Mm -hmm. Notice how mm, basically what you have presently in your society is you have more and more pharmaceutical companies that are coming up with quote unquote uh, drugs uh, to mm, help uh, HIV, yes. help delay its, its mm -hmm. effects. Mm -hmm. So what are they doing? Are they actually, yes, we realize there's pills, there's drugs, and based on your illusion of reality, it's real to you. But really, what are they saying? They're offering your mind the awareness that the mind doesn't have to kill itself. Does it? Mm -hmm. So what they're doing is they're basically saying to your mind, and they're giving your mind a new belief structure that the mind can, the body can exist with HIV for a period of time, provided it takes these drugs. Yes. Yeah. That's the, the caveat here. Provided you take these drugs, you'll live. Mm -hmm. If you don't take the drugs, you'll die. Do you think? Yes. Well, what if you change that whole psychology and said, you'll live. But if you take these drugs, you'll die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Imagine what that would happen. Mm -hmm. Do you think? Yes. I, I knew someone uh, very close who, was, who had died with AIDS. But as he went along, he'd come to me and say, the doctor told me I had one year to live. The doctor says yeah. I look great. I have six months to live. And he actually lived down almost to the day that the doctor said. There you go. Yeah. How many people, here's a story, and mm -hmm. this is a true story. An individual walked into the doctor's office for a normal checkup, just a regular checkup. Every year he used to walk into the doctor's office. This particular year he walked into the doctor's office. The doctor checked him and said, you have a lump. Mm -hmm. he basically tested his testicles and said there was a lump, a large lump. He immediately sent him for an x-ray realized that, and a PSA test, and realized that he had prostate cancer, extremely advanced prostate cancer. Told the individual that he had extremely advanced prostate cancer and that he had less than three months to live. All he had to do was go home and basically um, take care of his family. He could go through radiation therapy and chemotherapy, but it wasn't going to really do anything other than make him sick. So go home, set your affairs in order, and die, which is what the individual did. Mm -hmm. After he died, an autopsy was performed. And they discovered that the lump that the doctor had so diligently felt was a fatty deposit, nothing more. Wow. The man did not have prostate cancer. He had a large fatty deposit in the prostate area. Hmm. Do they? Yes. But he died. The doctor told him he was going to. Yeah. And That's the power of the mind. Yeah. The mind can actually shut down the body. Yes. And, yeah. Does the mind create... Well, I guess it wouldn't create cancer there because when they did the autopsy, they found a, a lump of fatty tissue. Exactly. Wow. And that's the power of the mind. That's the power of the mind. Mm-hmm.